in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document let's grab our asset so we are going to copy this image ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste let's grab the next item so we copy the sky, ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste convert that into a smart object we drop the layer rasterize this layer grab the polygonal lasso tool then you are just going to create a selection this way Right click on the selection and select layer via cut. We are going to grab this Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert that into a smart object, Ctrl T to transform. Let's grab this item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Convert that into a smart object, Ctrl T to transform. To position it right about here. With this layer selected. We are just going to adjust it this way. Make it smaller. With the layer selected, we are going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. Once we have a selection, we right click on the selection and we are going to select layer via cut. So we grab this, then we are just going to position and adjust it this way. With this layer selected, we are going to make that smaller. Right here, we are going to create a solid color. Now let's grab the other item. We position this right here. Grab these two layers and copy them together. With this layer selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. That's the sky. Reduce the opacity. With this layer selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to be painting some shadows, so we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a max selected, control I to invert with a soft hand brush. Hardness is set to zero. We are going to reduce the opacity, set foreground to white, and we are going to paint some shadows. Foreground is set to white, and we are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, 
with an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. With the mat selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush, we are going to right click and change the roundness for when it's set to white and we are going to be painting some shadows. Reduce the opacity. So we do same for this layer. We create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With a soft umbra, foreground set to white and we are going to paint some shadows. Create a curves adjustment layer above all layers. Reduce the opacity. With this layer selected, we are going to create a new layer. So we are going to be painting some shadows right here. Increase opacity. Foreground is set to black and we are just going to paint some shadows. Ctrl T to transform. We transform that a bit. With this layer selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clip onto the layer. With the layer still selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We are going to be painting some shadows. With this opacity, foreground set to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. Reduce the opacity, brighten. Create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer with a mask selected Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to paint some shadows. This is basically the same technique, so we don't intend to waste much time here. We're just going to make that faster. With this layer selected, we are going to create a max. We are going to create a selection right here. Right click and we are filling that with the foreground color, which is black. Ctrl D to the select. Now we are going to be painting some shadows for this tail right here. The tail is looking flat, so we are just going to paint some shadows. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush. Foreground is set white, and we are going to paint some shadows. A sub to the channel will be amazing. And guys, do not forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss future uploads.
with this layer selected we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with the mask selected control i to invert with the soft brush we are going to paint some shadows With this layer selected, we are going to paint more shadows. So we create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft brush, we are just going to change the angle and the roundness. And we are going to be painting some shadows. Reduce the opacity. We are going to paint more shadows right here. Foreground set to black, reduce opacity. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object. Then we go for camera roll. So filter, camera roll, filter. What we are going to do is you play with the settings until you like the final outcome. Then you hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys, I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.